So in this last video we're going to look at using lookup tables and, or LUTs to help describe what we want the uh, post-processing volume to display. Uh, so how that works is basically we take a screenshot of the scene as it is and then we can edit that in Photoshop and we save those settings into a texture uh, called a lookup table and then load it back in and it should bring those settings through. Um, it sounds weird but it does generally work. So if we make a if I just print the screen so basically I've pasted that in to here and we can start to work on top of this. So what we need is the lookup table which is the thing that will actually do the hard work for us. Um, so this is it here. Um, it kind of looks a bit like a, a weird normal map type thing. Um, and where I got this from is, find it, there we go. So if you do a search for lookup table or Unreal 4, you'll probably find this page but under the color grading section. We've got this, just right click and save this, and that's the thing we use. Okay, so I will select this and I will paste it into here, and I'll just put it out of the way for now. And then what I'm going to do is work over the top of this with adjustment layers. So I'm going to add a uh, Levels, maybe, and kind of darken it a bit. Push the lights a bit more, so it's a bit more contrasty. We're only really interested in this bit, and then maybe. Um, do some for the curves. Just to create something interesting. Maybe make something like that. So that's what we want our final look to be, as opposed to what we started with, which is that we want it to look like that across everything. So if we're happy with that, then all we really need to do is if I if I hold Control down and just left click over the. Uh, layer that the, this belongs to, I can select it. I'm just going to do Control shift e to flatten this so that all those changes are basically be propagated down into this, into one layer. I'm going to make a copy of it, make a new one, paste it in. And as you can see that it's slightly different and I'm going to save that. So I'm going to save it as a PNG and I'm going to call it Dev Test. It's fine. Save. So back in Unreal, I just want to import, import our PNG. Open it up quickly, and we need to set under LOD group, we need to set it to color lookup table. Save it, and now I've got to do is drag it along to color braiding and you switch it on. There you go. So if we go back to Photoshop, 
and then put that, and then back over to Unreal. Pretty much looks exactly the same, except the major difference is you can play this one. And it affects everything. 